In this video, the ESP32 controller is programmed as a WebSocket server, displaying on a browser in real time the voltage value of a potentiometer connected to one of the analog inputs of the controller. ESP32 using WebSocket protocol displays this web page where we can see that the uh, voltage value of the potentiometer connected to one of the analog inputs of the controller is displayed. The voltage value is between 0 and 3.5 volts. We can also see a graphical display of the voltage value. A quick look at the C++ program used in this project. After we execute the program and a WebSocket is established between the server and the client, on the server side, the analog input A0 is read where the potentiometer is connected and stored into this uh, string variable. This string variable is then copied into this uh, JSON format and stored into this uh, string variable and then using a WebSocket broadcast sent to the uh, requesting client or clients. At the client side and within a JavaScript function in its WebSocket, the received uh, JSON text which contains the potentiometer voltage is converted into a JSON object and this JSON object is then used to change the uh, parameter pot value which is this one here to change whatever appears here on the web page. Here the value of JSON object is stored in this uh, integer variable pot which is used here to change the width of this uh, CSS element dynamic rectangle and its uh, CSS definition is shown here and you can see the impact of uh, changing the potentiometer voltage on this CSS element and now for a quick demo noting how the server is sending the potentiometer voltage value to all of the connected clients. More real-time WebSocket using the ESP32 controller will be presented in future videos. Thank you for watching.